I'm Isabel, and welcome to another episode of Pins and Paragraphs, where I sew things based on the books that I've read. On this episode, I decided to sew an outfit based off the book Luck and Last Resorts by Sarah Grunder Ruiz. Uh, it is a rom-com. It is, I guess, in a way you could say it's a second chance kind of romance. I will say I don't think this book is for everybody. I think you have to really be a hopeless romantic love drama and love reality tv in order to like this book so essentially with this book this book takes place on a on a yacht um the people work on the yacht so if you like below deck by bravo i think you'll like this so you have nina who because of her trauma in life and things that she's gone through she doesn't like to be in relationships she's too afraid to put herself out there um and then you have ollie who is completely in love with her and knows that she loves him and tells her like you have feelings for me and she's like no i don't and then he's like fine then you know what i'm gonna leave after we're done with this charter season i'm leaving and then she's like no you can't leave and he's like why it's because you have feelings and then she's like no i just i just i just think we should keep what we're doing going which is essentially friends with benefits but he wants more so like i said if you like drama if you like below deck i think this book is for you Hi, editor Izzy is here. I just want to say something else about the book is that it's really funny. I think the banter is really good. Um, there are time skips, so you see how close they got over the course of 10 years in between the present time chapters. And I know some people aren't a big fan of that. However, I think it adds to the story because in the present time, she's struggling with accepting her feelings for him but then it flashes back to these moments between them where it's like yeah they make so much sense like you get to see their banter and you get to see why in the present tense how they know each other so well is because of everything that all the little tidbits that you get from the chapters where it's talking about like their past um so for once i think it's done very well and i really liked it and their banter is just so adorable so for this outfit, um, it, I didn't plan on using the fabric that I used. However, my mom found a bunch of linen that she had and she was like, yeah, you can use it. And then she saw me cutting the dress and she was like, oh, you're using really good fabric. Please don't mess it up. Even though she told me that I could use it. I digress. I wanted to make a dress that I would wear if I were to go on a cruise. Never been on a cruise would like to this would be the kind of dress that i would wear i wanted to make a dress similar to the one on the cover um it just didn't work out that way so this is what we got but the first thing i did was i went through all of my patterns to figure out what pattern of a dress um can i use found the pattern had to cut out the pattern which is one of the most annoying things that i hate after doing that i um cut the fabric ironed it because it is linen so it wrinkles very fast and very easily so yeah the top wasn't that bad i was really worried because i have never done sleeves in that way usually anything that i make is just straps i've never done actual sleeves so i think for the first time forever doing sleeves i did pretty great i will say i was very happy freaked out um best feeling in the world and then after doing the sleeves i decided to go to sleep and finish the dress the next then came the skirt which i think i actually messed up i think i cut the skirt incorrectly because i once i started laying everything out i I, it was really hard to find space with the fabric that I had left in order to get the skirt done. I did cut out the skirt, however, I didn't really cut it correctly. I didn't cut it straight. Um, and so when I had to sew it together, one, I realized it was much bigger than my waist. Um, and the instructions were very unclear. I was very confused. Um, but then I sewed the skirt, fantastic. Then I had attached it to the top which was a little bit challenging because the skirt was a lot wider than the top and then something i realized is that when you had to attach the skirt to the top the fabric that would be sticking out you had to press flat and then the elastic would go around that but because i never <laughs> because i didn't cut anything straight there was no space for a casing so what did i decide to do i decided to cut out a strip of the fabric um and make my own casing to put around uh, the waist 
of, of the dress. Uh, but then I realized I cut the fabric to the elastic length and not to the dress length. So then I cut out another piece, attached those, attached it to the dress, then slid the elastic through, and then I hand sewed it closed. Um, and then when I tried on the dress, because at this point I had it tried on the dress, when I tried it on, I could not stop laughing. See, I, I try on the dress and I stare at myself laughing because I feel like I belong in a horror movie and they need a, uh, a, a female virgin sacrifice. Literally how I felt. And so I was like, hmm, we're gonna chop this and make it short. Um, so I chopped the dress, made it short, hammed it, and then she was good to go. But now the most important part. Here is a dress inspired by luck and last resorts that I would wear whenever I go on a cruise. <laughs> It is 88 degrees outside. 